Namaskar. Welcome to Yoga Path. In this video, we are going to explain how you can help manage high blood pressure. Hypertension or high blood pressure is not actually a disease. It is just a condition of blood pressure being higher from the normal value. Sometimes it happens because of some lifestyle disorders, unhealthy eating, some lack of physical activities etc so to cure blood pressure it just brings that you bring it back to the normal level so here comes yoga as a rescue by doing regular yoga and doing it properly you can maintain your blood pressure level to the normal optimum level so that your heart can pump easily because high blood pressure is the common cause these days for stroke and many heart diseases. So in this video, let us see how we can utilize yoga in maintaining and managing high blood pressure. We shall start with some yogic sukshma vyayam. To keep our blood pressure in normal range, we have to keep our heart and circulatory system toned, strengthened and healthy. For this, we will be doing Vakshasthal Shakti Vikasak Vyayam so that the internal organs of our thoracic cage are strengthened and our heart pumps easily. First of all, stand straight with feet together and hands by your side. Then while inhaling, raise both your hands over your head and bend backward as much possible, keeping your palms towards the sky. Hold this position for 10 to 30 seconds or as per your body limit. Then while exhaling, come back to the standing position and bend forward. If you have high blood pressure, please do not bend forward. You may bend a slightly or not at all. You may relax this vyayam in the standing position itself. Let us see once again. Vakshasthal Shakti Vikasak Vyayam. While inhaling, raise both your arms over your head and bend backward as much possible. If you are uncomfortable in doing this Vyayam with breathing synchronization of inhale, exhale and holding, then you can perform this with normal breathing also. Take normal breathing throughout the Vyayam and hold wherever you can till your body allows and then you can come back in the normal standing position and relax. This was Vakshasthal Shakti Vikasak Sukshma Vyayam. By doing this, your thoracic cage is stretched, expanded, which gives proper space to your heart, which releases the pressure or the stress that your heart is undergoing. Then your heart can easily pump in and pump out the blood from the body and to the body. The more the heart gets the space, the lesser the pressure will be developed over it and lesser will be the chances of rising your blood pressure. Now, let us see another Vakshasthal Shakti Vyayam. Stand with your feet together and hands by your side. Now, keeping your arms straight and stretched, while inhaling, bend backward as much as possible. 
look into the sky and focus for stability at a fixed point. Hold for 10 to 30 seconds or as per your body limit. If you are comfortable with inhale, exhale synchronization, otherwise you can hold with normal breathing. Then while exhaling, bend forward and raise your arms toward the sky while your palms are facing towards each other. Again, hold as per your body limit in this position. Then while inhaling, stand back and relax. Let us repeat the second part once again. Both these subtle workouts expands your thoracic cage, your abdominal region, gives your heart a refreshing effect and the space it requires to elevate the pressure or stress it is undergoing, which is the major cause for rising your blood pressure. The pivotal role of heart is pump in the deoxygenated blood from the body and pump out the oxygenated blood to the body parts. So it has to function properly. For this functioning, you have to ease out the pressure developed over the heart. This Vyam is very beneficial in expanding your thoracic cage and providing that space. Now, let us start with some standing yoga sun, Tad Asan or the palm tree pose. If you are feeling dizzy, you have ankle pain, muscle pull in the legs or hernia, then please do not perform this asan. Now, while inhaling, raise both your hands over your head, keeping them stretched and straight. Then raise your whole body on your toes. Stretching it as much possible and holding this position as long you feel comfortable. Then while exhaling, bring down your heels first, then hands and relax. This is Tad Asan. Like a palm tree, you are stretching your body up straight. So let us repeat it once more. This asan gives your body, your heart, your circulatory system, your muscular system a proper stretch which releases the pressure developed over it and relaxes it. So this asan gives you a very soothing, refreshing effect. If you are having high blood pressure, you can ease out and normalize your blood pressure while performing this asan two to five times a day. If you are feeling uneasy while doing it with inhale, exhale, breathing synchronization, then you can perform this Tad Asan with normal breathing also. After repeating, relax. For normalizing blood pressure, this Tad Asan is very beneficial because when you breathe in slowly, stretch your arms up, your thoracic cage is expanded, which releases some space for your heart and it eases out the pressure that it is undergoing. Due to the release of this pressure, your heart has to work lesser to pump in and pump out the blood so that your blood pressure normalizes. Next, we will perform Ardh Matsindra Asan. If you have hernia, slip disc or knee pain, 
then please do not perform this asan sit with both legs straightened in front then bend your right leg and place the heel below your hip then bend your left leg and place it perpendicularly just above your right leg now bend your right hand and press it against your left knee keeping your forearm stretched and fingers straight and pointed and keep your left hand straight and palm touching the ground remember your forearm should be pressing your knee the leg which is perpendicularly placed and the other arm should be stretched and straight keep your spine straight so that you can feel the pressures that are being developed in your pelvic region your leg muscles and your spinal nerves this asan expands your thoracic cage it strengthens your abdominal region and makes your spine more flexible all these things accumulately releases your high blood pressure and brings it to the normal level after holding for some time with normal breathing come back to the normal sitting position take deep long breaths and relax next we will repeat the same asan with change of arms and legs before your right leg was beneath the hip and left leg was perpendicularly placed now we will perform with the change please sit change your direction now we will bend our left leg and place the heel just below the hip please shift a bit forward bend your left leg first and then bend your right leg and place it perpendicularly just over your left leg then bending your left arm press your right knee from your upper arm keeping your forearm of left hand straight and stretched and right hand should be placed with palm on the ground and the arm should be straight keeping your shoulders in one line straight and stretched feel the pressure developing over your spine your pelvic region your abdominal organs your leg muscles regular and proper practice of this asan can regulate your blood pressure very easily and very soon you have to breathe normally throughout the asan and after holding for some time as per your body limit sit back in normal comfortable position with legs straightened in front and arms placed on knees this asan gives your complete body a stretch and compression simultaneously to your whole body and your head part feels a very soothing relaxing happy feeling which eases out your high blood pressure and gives your body a very rejuvenating effect now we will perform lying on back ard halasan to normalize your blood pressure we have done shavasan now to help your heart to expand your thoracic cage and to strengthen your internal organs we will see ard halasan if you have knee pain throat infection or hernia then please do not perform this asan first of all lie down on your back then keeping your arms straight with palms facing down and fingers joined together you have to breathe normally throughout the asan first raise your left leg without bending your knee and raise it to 90 degree 
with your toe pointing upwards. Hold this position till you feel comfortable. Keep in mind your knees should not bend either of the leg which is on the ground or the leg which is raised up. Your legs should be straight and feel the stretch on both front and back side of your leg muscles. If you are feeling uneasy to hold it yourself, then you can take help of somebody. Then after holding for some time, bring back your leg on the ground. Take deep long breath and relax. Then again, breathing normally, raise your right leg straight and stretch without bending your either the knees keeping your toes pointed so that your legs can feel the stretch in the leg muscles because this stretch will tone and strengthen your internal organs hold this position till your body allows then bring your leg down and loosen up your legs then relax. Now again taking gap of deep long breaths. Once again repeat this procedure first Raise your left leg at 90 degrees, keeping the toe pointed and stretched and hold as per your body comfort level. After holding for some time, bring your leg down. Then taking gap of deep long breaths, then raise your right leg with normal breathing and holding at 90 degrees for some time. Then bring back your leg and relax while taking deep long breaths. Now this time you have to raise both your legs together to 90 degree and hold in this position for 10 to 30 seconds or till you feel comfortable. This halasan stretches your pelvic region and it reduces the extra fat in your thigh and waist area and it also normalizes your blood pressure. If you do this asana regularly and properly, keeping your knees straight and straight, toes pointed. After holding for some time, bring your legs down and loose your body while taking deep long breaths and relax. Next in line, we will perform lying on belly bhujang asan or the cobra pose. If you have hernia, cardiac problem, then please do not perform this asana. You have to breathe normally. Now place both your hands just below your shoulders or chest region. Then while inhaling, slowly raise your body from your navel area and bend backward as much possible trying to straighten your arms. If you are comfortable in straightening your arms and bending backward then do otherwise do as much you can bend backward keeping your elbows at an angle. Then with regular practice after some time you can straighten them Hold till your body allows you. After that, while exhaling, come down to the normal lying position, 
keeping your chin on the ground. Then while taking deep long breaths, relax. This Bhujang Asan is very beneficial for your spine and for your internal organs of abdominal region. It expands your thoracic cage. Let us see this asan once again. While inhaling, raise your upper body from navel and arch backwards. Hold this position till you feel comfortable. This Bhujanga Asana, as you can see, expands your thoracic cage, giving plenty of space to your heart so that it can pump in, pump out the blood very easily and comfortably. It increases your stamina and it decreases the stress over your heart, which is the major cause for increasing your blood pressure. So if you do this asana regularly, on daily basis, this will normalize your blood pressure and keep it at optimum levels. So this was Bhujang Asan, the bridge pose. For high blood pressure, now we will perform a pranayam, Shitali Pranayam, the cooling breath. This gives your mind and body a very cooling, soothing effect. If you have throat infection, flu or cold, then please do not perform this pranayam. First of all, sit in a comfortable meditative posture, either Sukhasan or Vajrasan, keeping your hands in Jnana Mudra over your knees, keeping your spine straight, now, pout your mouth and make your tongue in circular position and take it out. Then slowly and deeply inhale through your mouth while puffing out your abdomen. Then close your mouth and exhale through your nose while pulling in your abdomen. While inhaling your Abdomen should distend and while exhaling, it should be pulled in. Let's repeat it again. Pout your mouth, roll your tongue and inhale deep long breath through your mouth. Then after closing your mouth, exhale slowly through your nose and pull in your abdomen as much possible. We can repeat this cycle three to five times. This pranayam, as per its name, Shitali or cooling breath, gives your mind and body a soothing cooling effect. It is very beneficial in your high blood pressure condition. You can perform this pranayam when you feel your pressure has risen up and See for yourself that it gives you a very calming effect and lowers your blood pressure very soon. So if you do this pranayam regularly, then you can keep your blood pressure under normal conditions. This is very beneficial pranayam for your overall health also. This was Shitali Pranayam.